So welcome to this Did You Know session. Today we're going to look at an update to the JMeter correlation plugin. If we look at the plugin manager, we can see that we've installed the BlazeMeter correlation plugin and we've got the latest version which is 2.3. This new version includes our history manager. So let me show you what this means. We've already recorded the test as you can see here. And if we look in our recording controller, these are all the endpoints that we recorded. If we replay this test, this is before correlation, what we'll find is we have some errors in the test. And those errors are caused by issues with tokens that need to be correlated. So you can see here this happens in several places throughout the test that we've recorded. So when the test finishes, we'll go back to one of the first ones and we'll just look at the what we did. So you can see we get a 403 message. And the response header, that's an authentication failure. Now this is caused by an issue with a token. So we need to correlate this test. We go to the correlation wizard and we're gonna use a template that comes from BlazeMeter. So these are predefined rules that we can apply to our tests. And we're gonna go into this one, which is an SAP template. These are the tokens that we're gonna correlate. We click apply and we've now correlated the test. So we've identified where those tokens are used and we've created the rules to basically to capture the token we need when the test executes and to replace it in the test as required. So we've applied that to our test plan. And if we now go back to our test and we just rerun the same test. So you see now the screen will scroll. We're now running the same test. The difference is instead of those errors we we're getting before, everything is now green. So the test is now running. And we can see before it was test um, 825 was failing as part of our correlation, as you can see there. If we look at those 825 and 826 steps after correlation, we can now see those particular endpoints are passing. So our correlation rule has worked. Now this is standard for what we do with the correlation plugin. What's new is how we can version this. So if we go and look at those particular parts of our test, we can see where we've actually created the regular expression to extract the token we need for our test. So we look at this first one. You can see here there's a regex there, which has come from our template and told the test how to be configured to handle those tokens. If we go to the history manager in the correlation plugin, you can see here we have all the different versions. So the original recording, before applying the analysis, before applying correlation and after. And we can restore so we can restore this test back to before we did any correlation. So if we go into our look at our test and we look at that first point here, you can see that regular expression has been removed because we reverted this test back to before we applied any correlation. Now we can then move backwards and forwards. So as we're testing, we can reapply the correlation. We can perhaps correlate with new rules. As you can see, we're going to reapply. And when we go back and look at that, that particular endpoint again, we'll see that regulation, regular expression is now back on that test. So as you can see, this makes versioning of a JMeter test much easier when we're using the correlation plugin. Now what we can also do is we can actually export from our history manager. So if we go and look at the history on this test again, you can see these are all the different versions we actually just been working on. We can create an export and this will create a zip file and a JSON file. So if we look at the output, we can see the JSON file contains the details on what we just exported. And in the zip file, it contains the recording as well as the JMeter test. So we can take this export and use it on a different version of JMeter. We can archive it. It allows us to basically control this particular JMeter test. So as you can see, this is a very exciting new update to our JMeter plugin. Just download it today and start working in it. For more details on BlazeMeter, you can go to blazemeter.com where we have blogs and videos and details on how to use BlazeMeter.